Hello, my name is Gutsuko and welcome back to Break Chance Memento. Now, the last time that we had played this, we were having an emotional roller coaster of what the fuck happened. You know what I mean? We got one hour of time to spare, so we're going to be looking for some mementos to try and figure out how the hell we're going to be able to save Chiaki. And I don't know if this is going to be a little bit different from the last one, but I have a feeling that this one's going to be much more uh, free range than it had to do with Masaharu. Because this one seemed like it was a little bit, like, weird. There, there was, there was a lot of, like, there was a lot of, there was a lot of surprises with this one. But let's go ahead and, and try and find some mementos to see if we can figure out what the hell is going on. Okay. So I need to look around. I need to search. Nobody has come to collect his things yet. Should be able to find something. Yeah, obviously. Straight up, right away. Hey, isn't this a charm that... Oh! Dude, that's like literally almost right before. He picks up the red shrine... Well, not right before, but you know what I mean. He picks up the red shrine charm from the ground and examines it. Indeed, it seems to be the very same shrine charm that Chiaki had reluctantly attached to his back before. I wonder what it's doing here. I guess it fell off his back or something. The strap doesn't look broken, though. He probably threw it, dude. Anyway, this should be perfect. If Chi-Chan's grandmother had really made this, it should take me straight to their house. Lots of stuff I can look for there, I bet. So, yeah, I'm gonna scan it, obviously. Okay, cool. No, 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 I'm gonna wanna look around more. I wanna look around more. I'm sure there's more stuff. Okay. Wait, are those his glasses? No way. There's no way those are his glasses. Why would he leave his glasses? He finds his, he finds his eyes drawn to a pair of Chiaki's glasses. But these are mass produced, so I don't think. Upon closer inspection, Shuki notices that the glasses are broken. The lenses are cracked enough that Chiaki would have had to replace them soon enough. When did this happen? Maybe this might help me. Yeah, obviously. Scan the damn glasses, you crazy psycho. Uh, yeah, deleted memento. Okay, so... Oh, no! I can only hold five! This is terrible. Okay, so... I think I'm gonna get rid of Yukinari's pencil, because I don't think that there's anything else that I should, like... Uh, okay. There's no way I'm getting that back ever again. I have about one hour of time to spare. Blah, 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 blah. Look for mementos. I just want to get this last piece, because there's only one more, I believe. Yeah? Yeah, I don't see anything else. I'm not... My mouse is going all over the place. You can't see it, but I can see it. But I have this. A cram school pamphlet. Guess chi -chan was getting pretty serious about his college entrance exams. Ah! Keep forgetting they're not actually in college. They're in high school, technically. Whatever... Japan's form of high school is. I wonder where he wants to go after you graduate. Okay, I guess it is just high school. Yeah, scan it. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, delete a memento. Uh, his bento. Chiaki's notebook. I don't think we're going to need the notebook anymore. I want to keep the bento and the essay because I really haven't explored too much there. But I'm going to get rid of the net notebook because we've already visited that like two different times. About one hour, you'll probably check with me, blah, 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 blah. It's time to do something. I know! I know this! I know! I really want to figure out what happened with the glasses. I think that would be, I think that would be the best. Because the, the Shrine Charm and the glasses are made, like, they, they're on the same day. They're at different times, just a little bit. This one's only, like, ten minutes, though. So I gotta really rush with this. I think I'm gonna do this one, and then I'll do the Shrine Charm. That seems like the logical thing to do. Okay, perfect. Just as Shuki appears on the scene, he is thrown right in the middle of what looks to be an argument between Chiaki and an old woman who is probably his grandmother. In one swift movement, fairly impressive for an old lady, she- Jesus! Why?! His glasses are sent flying from his face and they land on a wood floor with a resounding clack. In the tense silence that follows, Shuki examines his surroundings a bit. He appears to be in the living room at Chiaki's house. He guesses that this room is at the center of the house, if it's like more traditionally designed houses. If I come here in active mode, I might be able to find something to use. I mean, Chi-Chan came here a lot before he died, right? 
I can't interact with objects when I'm invisible, so why don't you turn active right now then? Though he's curious as to what is going on between Chiaki and his grandmother, this destination is too short for Shuki to find out. Ah! You are now being returned to the present. F. Okay, so I need to go back in active mode. Yep, read it. Yep, got it. While they're both distracted, I should look around for clues. However, with Chiaki and his grandmother so close by, Shuki decides to stay invisible for the time being. Whoa, why didn't I do that in the first place? Maybe I should just go active every single time. Stealth doesn't seem to be freaking doing me anything. Maybe I can just grab something quick and then hide. Sounds hard. Just as he's thinking this, both Chiaki and his grandmother turn away. I don't think they'll be able to see me, especially if I'm quick. They're focused on other things. Grab it. Hurry. Hurry. Doesn't look like Chi Chan is good. What's this letter? The inventory slot and shakes up a Sina. Yes. Um, 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 essay. Sorry. I know. I, no. Uh, I really hope that I'm not deleting ones that I really need. It's a letter from Chi Chan's mother. Shuki quickly skims the letter. It's heartbreaking. Chiaki's grandmother gained custody of Chiaki after his father's death. It didn't allow him to meet or even know that his mother was alive until Chiaki turned 18. The old woman then ran then ren reneged, 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 renew, ren ren reneged on her promise with Chiaki's mother. Though Chiaki's been 18 since April, his grandmother has gone to great lengths to continue keeping him from meeting his mother or knowing of her existence. Why? What did Chiaki's mother do that was so bad? I'm almost out of time. I'll have to think more on this later. Ah, uh, at the very least, he got what he came for. Shuki resolves to continue face forward and memento time. Now you need to return to the present. Shit! Going in the future. Okay. It looks like I'm out of time. But now... How did that lead me to go out of time? How? There was 10 minutes and I only used 20. I don't get that part, but whatever. I'm not gonna complain, I guess. After dinner, Shuki sits in his room and gathers his thoughts about the Sace. Sace. <laughs> about the Sace! Yo, the Sace! Ah, shit, the Sace! Case based on what he's seen and read. So basically, all these years, Shi Chan's mom has been alive, but she wasn't allowed to meet him. His grandpa, his grandparents, his grandparents even told him that she was dead. Shi Chan's grandma made a promise to his mom that she'd let the two of them meet when he turned 18, but then went back on him. What a bitch! Then again, it would be pretty awkward to go through with it after your grandson, that his mom was whatever. But then recently, Chi Chan's mom wrote a letter asking to see him, and then somehow Chi Chan found out about it, and this whole thing blew up like. Psh I guess it was probably around when he got that shrine charm. It'd be suspicious as hell, too. I'd be suspicious as hell, too, if someone was mean to me before it started being super nice all of a sudden. I mean, yeah, obviously they were hiding something. That's usually how it works out. It just... I don't get his family. From what I've heard, Chi Chan's grandma doesn't really care about him. Why is she so possessive? Maybe she's hateful out of love. Maybe she loves him so much that she just wants to make him, like, adverse to her because she's, like, dumb. I don't know. Can he really be so awful just out of spite? Yes. Though his own family has issues as well, Shuki finds it hard to relate to Chiaki's problems. Anyway, after seeing all this, I really don't think Chi chans mom killed him. I mean, she's been trying for years to meet him properly, right? She already knew where they live. So if she was really that desperate and ready to kill, she would have just done something drastic sooner where nobody would see it. Exactly! Besides... Ah! Don't show me that! I'm already still sad! Shuki remembers the look on her face. She kept asking over and over for someone to give her her son back to her. That one guy was an absolute asshole, but he had a good point. If Chi Chan's mom killed him, why would she be asking for him to be returned? The letter she wrote sounded totally sane to me. There's got to be some reason why she acted like that and said those things. I mean, why? I have to get to the bottom of this and save Chi Chan. There has to be another explanation. Oh, a message. He reads as quickly as can. Read it! Read the mess- Oh. Your friend Chiaki was murdered by our future killer. You need to look into this ASAP. Not everything is as it seems. I'M EVERYTHING AS IT SEEMS! Duh! I'm gonna save real quick. Just in case I wanna go back. 
Your friend Shiaki was murdered by our future blog. I knew. Why? Why? Why would you have me read the message right there and then make it go down to bottom? There's no point. Sorry, I need to calm down. As I thought, whoever killed Masani was behind this. Of course, why wouldn't they be? But why would they kill Chichen and Masani? And why do people close to me keep getting killed? I think I know what it is, but I'm not gonna say shit until I know for sure. Though he thinks on it for a long time, Shukin can come up with no answers. Could this simply be an alarming coincidence, or something more sinister? I don't know why I did that. Until we find out who it is, I won't know. I can't even try and find a killer or else I might die too, according to Kiosk. All I can do now is save whoever gets killed, so I'll focus on that. Well, that's a good idea, I guess. Chicha and a mama, wait! Hold tight! Bruh, where am I? What? Hello? Oh! The, uh, the next day, Shuki finds himself completely distracted while in class. He can't help but think about the... My screen is fucked again. I'm sorry. I don't know what that word is. About the about the uh, the uh, I don't know. I I am being blocked. I'm sorry. Hold on. I think it was this. Oh. The next day, Shuki finds himself completely distracted while in class. He can't help but think about the case. Now that Kiosk's confirmed his suspicions, Shuki wonders about what happened on the twelfth that day. Chiaki disappeared. What happened in those eight days that he was missing? Exa that's exactly what I was wondering! Shiki remembers how tense and annoyed Chiaki seemed leading up to his disappearance. He was especially moody on the 12th itself. Chances are, Chiaki contacted his mother after receiving the letter, and the two worked out a day to meet. Something had to have happened on the 12th. It would make complete sense if that was the day Chiaki had decided to meet his mother. But where did they meet? What happened when they met? Dude, this is effed. There is just not enough information yet for Shuki to draw any conclusions. Though it'll be hard to find time and act on in an inconspicuous manner, he'll have to find evidence and locate mementos before it's too late. The important thing now is that he can do something. Shuki's not entirely powerless. He can and will do anything to save his friend. If I didn't have this time machine... Nah, I can't think about that. I just have to do whatever I can now. Dude, if you didn't have this time machine... Then the other dude wouldn't have the time machine either, because technically then, Kiosk wouldn't have traveled back in time to give you the time machine because the other dude wouldn't have gone back with the time machine, and essentially meaning that everything just doesn't work. Unless I'm just being dumb about it. Whatever. However, much to his dismay, a few days pass and Shuki is still unable to find- Dude, I have two other mementos now. Two, three, three, three other mementos that I can go on right now, and you're telling me that nothing is working? How about the not? Maybe I'm just thinking about this all wrong. It'd be great if I had some more time. I need to find out what Chi Chan was doing on the 12th. At the moment, Shuki feels lost and confused, more than ever he has in his life. He just needs someone, anyone, to tell him that things are going to be okay. But he can't tell a soul about what he's going through. Why can't you talk to Natsume about it? When Shuki's in such a slump and seeking comfort, only one person comes to mind. His older brother- There! There! There we go! There- You're smart. You're getting smart. You're getting to a smart place right now. Natsume has been a constant, immovable presence for Shuki's entire life. And he's been his bad points for sure. He's irresponsible sometimes and a flight risk. But he's always taking care of me and Masani no matter what. Every time Shuki's felt down, somehow Natsume has always been a source of strength. In spite of the bleak situation, somehow Shuki feels as if he'll be able to get through this if he speaks, if seeks out his older brother, speaks out. He looks around and notices rather belatedly that the whole hour is passed since school let out. I didn't realize I was zoning out so much. If I want to find any, chances are he's at work already. Cool, I get to go back to his work! Shuki shoves his school supplies in his locker and heads for the confectionery. I wonder if choosing the confectionery the first time kind of led to this. I'm not sure. When Shuki reaches the confectionery when Atsume works, however, he noticed that his brother has changed out of his working uniform as Oh, gee, that was fast. Hey! Shuki, what are you doing here? Wow, that was a terrible voice for him. Uh, I... That is... How do I even explain what I came here for? I feel like if I tell him I came for a pep talk, he'll be really annoying. He'll either be super happy or super weirded out. 
However, Natsume mistakes Shuki's hesitance for something else. Oh, sorry. That was a stupid question. Of course you're still sad about... No, no, it's not that. I mean, I am still sad about what happened to Chi-Chan, it's just... Oh, be honest! Because honesty is the key! Remember that, children and people that are what... Don't listen to me, I'm stupid. Honestly, I came to visit. I wanted to see you. Really? <laughs> is that so hard to believe? No, um, I guess I'm just surprised. After all, you have so many friends and... Well, I guess I didn't expect you to be so straightforward about it. Anyway, what are you doing? Isn't it too early for you to be leaving work? Uh, I've been sent on a mission. Oh! Everything just turned quirky! It was like sad and emotional for a minute and I fucking keep dropping my stuff. And like now all of a sudden it's all fun and happy times. A mission? Right. A spy mission. Since when were you a spy? Since just now. I was told to go around the area and scope out the other bakeries so my boss can their borrow their marketing techniques. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Who is the owner of this shop, dude? You didn't think I was an actual spy, did you? Uh, yeah. Dude! Oh my god! Are you kidding me right now? Really? You s- <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, that's the best. I remember. You really used to love those superhero shows, don't you? <laughs> I still see you watching Come On Rider and the common room television. Oh no! I do not! Why would you deny it? I've seen you. I don't, and why would you even wake up that early? I didn't say anything about it being early. Are you admitting to it? Oh dude, just admit to it. It's fine. While you're in luck, you can come with me. Now you can be a spy too. <laughs> dude! Oh, oh man. Oh, this is the best. To, uh, some, finally, finally some happiness after all of the craziness that this has been. The two brothers spend the rest of the afternoon looking at different bakeries. A number of them are gearing up for the western holiday known as All Hall. Dude, perfect time for Halloween! There's a lot of cookies, cakes, and other baked goods sold around that theme. Even though Halloween isn't exactly a holiday in Japan, it's gained more steam in the recent years' steam. And that is obviously seen just from the bakeries in the area. Lovely. Seems like my boss is behind on the times a bit. I don't think we did anything Halloween themed last year either. No wonder it's been slow lately. Halloween's just in a few days, right? Isn't that enough time for you guys to come up with something? I'm not sure, but the owner is pretty good at coming up with a different design and stuff, so maybe he can think up an idea. I guess we should head back now. Oh, they can just spend time together. When they get back to the confectionery, Natsume reports his findings to his boss, who promptly shuffles to the back of the store to draw up some cake designs. This leaves Natsume and Shuki, who's been roped in to the man's stir. To, to man, to man the stir. Why are you behind the counter? You clearly don't work here. You have that look on your face again. You really don't have to be here if you don't want to. Forget about what my boss said. No, it's not that. I'm just thinking stupid things, really. Like... Why was Chi Chen missing for eight days? And what was he doing before he disappeared and stuff? I can't stop thinking about things like that lately. Well, if the media is to be believed, he met with his mother, right? I suppose they were together for eight days, or at least were part of that time. Did Chi Chen tell you anything about it? Unfortunately, I know as much, or as little, as you do. He practically ignored me at school in the days leading up to when he disappeared. I wish he'd talk to me. I wish she'd talk to me too. Dude, I wish she'd talk to me specifically! What the fuck is going on here? I'm sure he at least tried to meet with her on the 12th. Chiaki's grandmother said that she hadn't seen him around then, but he didn't go home with us that day, remember? But he was in class? Well, yeah. I was right. Before, he only did that if he was going to his grandmother's, but if he wasn't at her place that day, there's only one other place he could have gone. Why do you really think of that? This doesn't exactly solve my problem, but it confirms my hunch. Maybe if I look around the school, I'll find something. But why bring all this up now? Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to find some closure, I guess. 
Don't be too down on yourself, Shu Chen. There's nothing you could have done, and Chi Chen wouldn't want you to be depressed forever. Just focus on what you can do right now in the present. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. So before I get too far... Oh, I love how that saved. That saved really, really weird. Hopefully that doesn't F up the save. Hold on. One sec. Okay, there we go. Overwrite the save. Yeah, okay. That's a little bit better. So... I'm sorry, but I have completely run out of time for this episode, so thank you very, very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Click the links over to the side there, because I know which way I'm pointing now, finally. I, I looked, and I saw, and I, and I conquered. I don't know, whatever. Same difference. But, yes, click on the links over on the side there. Click on my face icon. You can subscribe to my channel. Get that stuff delivered straight to your doorstep. And then, of course, click the other links down below for the awesome random videos that just post up randomly that I have nothing to do with lies. You can go and watch other videos of mine. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.